Janine, so far those two men that were arrested have been charged with a robbery at the United Grocery Store off Broad Rock Boulevard, and police say they are connected to the robbery and murder of a man just down the street about 10 minutes later, but no charges yet in that case. Also tonight, we've learned that one of the men uh, accused is a fugitive or was a fugitive from justice in Chesterfield County, and according to court records, the other had a gun and drug charge and was released by Richmond Courts in August and told to be on good behavior. The Milo Terror started here at United Grocery, the 2200 block of Broad Rock Boulevard. Police say 1016 Wednesday morning, two men come in, demand money, firing a warning shot into the floor. Minutes later, another robbery and shooting call at the Lindo Latino Market and Restaurant. This time, police confirm a murder in the 3000 block of Broad Rock Boulevard. Crime Insider sources tell me the victim is manager and father of two, Marvin Ramos. Wake up this, uh, this morning, uh, I was working and I see the news and they say this person be killed. I mean, the surprise. I mean, it's, it's another crime in a Hispanic community. Jose Rodriguez is a regular at the victim's Southside store. I know him because he works in the store, coming over there all the time to buy anything. I mean, whatever we need, it's the closest to the store we have. Rodriguez knows all too well the pain and anguish of a senseless killing. His son Isaac's killer still roamed the streets three years after shooting the 21-year-old at a Richmond Highway trailer park. It's almost three years, you know, they killed my son. And I'm still waiting for the answers. Good thing, you know, they, they catch these guys. Richmond police confirmed they did capture two men, 18-year-old fugitive Ronaldi Monteroso and 25-year-old Jonathan Beltran. Court records show Beltran was indicted in Richmond last August on felony gun and drug charges, but received a deferred disposition for both, meaning he was let go and told to stay out of trouble. When they get these people, put them in jail. Do something. Don't let it go out to the street do it the same thing or make it damage to another family. In this case, Rodriguez says the damage is done. This family, this already destroyed. And to make things worse or to make matters worse, Janine and Julie, family members tell me tonight that today is Marvin Ramos, the victim's birthday. He leaves behind a wife and two children. Live on the South Side, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.